If you're new to Amazon FBA or retail arbitrage, one of the most frustrating things can be finding a valuable item, huge ROI, I'm talking about multiples of what you're paying. Uh, you buy it, you get home, you try to list it, and you find out you are gated in the category of grocery. It's a common thing a lot of people who are just starting off experience. This video will help you get ungated in grocery for free. Uh, there are services out there, there are unethical charlatans who are trying to charge hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars to become ungated in grocery. If you watch this video, you're going to save all of that money uh, and hopefully in a few days or a week, you will be on your way to making lots of cash selling common grocery items on Amazon. If you've seen the shelves around you, you've noticed maybe they're a little bit bare. There's no issue with the supply of food, there's an issue with the supply chain. So if you can go in as a nimble third party seller, find things that are in excess in your area and sell them to where they're in more demand, not only are you lessening the weight on these supply chains, you are profiting yourself. That is the value you are adding using this Amazon FBA uh, method. If you want to know how the entire Amazon FBA process works, I have a tutorial video. It's a few years old. I will link to that in the description. But if you are an experienced seller just trying to make that next step, we're going to start here for you. So with grocery, with gated stuff, what you have to do is have an invoice and the invoice has to match your business information on Amazon. If you have your business info as address A uh, and you have the wholesale order from a, a supplier going to your home address, which is different than address A, we'll call it address B, that uh, difference will invalidate the invoice. So these invoices you have to have they need to be they need to be matching the information has to match because that's how amazon verifies that yes you are getting these uh, authentic products when you show the invoice to amazon and the way you do this is by trying to list a product uh, as you go through the workflow on amazon seller central it'll say do you want to apply to be ungated you upload the invoice as you wait a few days it might take numerous iterations. You might have to reapply uh, sometimes upwards of 15 times, but eventually, assuming you satisfy all the requirements, and like I said, the first one's gonna be matching addresses, the second one's generally going to be 10 units of any specific SKU. For a category ungating like grocery, you don't have to have multiple different SKUs. You can just use one SKU. So for example, if Acme Rice uh, is selling from a supplier, you can buy 10 of those, you show the invoice to Amazon, and you become ungated for the category of grocery. Beyond category restrictions, gates as we're calling them, there are also brand gates, brand restrictions. It's the same process using a, a, a supplier for that, but uh, for the video that I'm making right now, we're only going to focus on the entire category of grocery. I also want to make it abundantly clear that the invoice is the slip of paper with the manifest of items purchased that you get with your shipment. It's not a purchase order. It's not a receipt. It's an invoice and it must be an invoice again to satisfy the Amazon requirements. Once you've made that purchase, and you have your invoice and you've submitted the invoice and Amazon has approved it. And again, it might take you 15 or 20 attempts. It took me one attempt. It takes people one or two attempts. Uh, but in the Facebook group I have, it did take one person 20 times to get ungated in DVDs. I'm not joking, 20 times. And so I just use that as the example because a lot of people give up after four or five and they blame the supplier or they blame me uh, when really it's just you have to deal with what some might call uh, bureaucratic incompetence to get past these barriers. Now, once we've established the basics, you're probably wondering, well, who do I buy from? What wholesalers can I buy from? You can buy from individual manufacturers, that works. Uh, you can buy from wholesalers, distributors, that works too. The issue you're gonna run into is a lot of these wholesalers and distributors are not accepting new clients or not accepting e-commerce only clients. And that's where my recommendation comes in. It's a company called katytexaswholesale.com. They are a boutique distributor who focuses on working with e-commerce 
sellers. It is not an ungating service at all. If anyone tries to sell you that, that's probably a little bit too sketchy for you to deal with. What you want to do is find legitimate wholesalers and Katy Texas Wholesale is not the only legitimate one, but they are one that I recommend. Uh, I have an affiliate relationship with them, so I do get a small portion of all the sales, but it's items you're buying to sell. You're not paying like uh, a $5,000 account fee. They have a minimum order of, I believe, $100, which is fine, you're ordering stuff to sell. Uh, initially, the margins might not be exactly what you want. Uh, the markets are always fluctuating, but if you're patient, if you plan accordingly, if you check the Keepa graphs, which chart inventory and uh, the buy box price, you can certainly make money on your initial investment. Again, not an ungating service. I want that to be very evident. It is a supplier who Amazon trusts and understands is buying authentic goods. And by supplying that invoice, you have shown that you too have authentic goods or at least understand how to get them. Once you are in gated for the category, you don't only have to sell the items you've bought from the wholesaler. You can do retail arbitrage. I'll include a link below. You're going to get 10% off if you use that link. I, again, will get my 10% affiliate commission. Uh, and once you use that invoice, you're not limited only to selling Katy Texas wholesale products, although certainly they are going to have good products you should always be looking for. You can sell anything you see at a grocery store that does not have a gated brand. Uh, now, if a buyer says this item is counterfeit, which I have never had happen to me with food items, I've never had it happen for anything for that matter, what you would have to do then is show an itemized receipt with the name of the product on it. So that means no like bulk liquidation buys are going to work, but you should be fine if you follow those steps and you're not reckless. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I hope you appreciate my concise and succinct method. I don't want to waste your time. I just want you to make some more money. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. Uh, give it a big thumbs up and comment below with what other issues you're having in your e-commerce business. My name is Blake. I appreciate your viewership and I'll see you later.